everybody I have learned it tends to be doing the best they can. People try to solve the problems in their life. And sometimes the solutions they come up with are just pretty expensive solutions in the sense that they don't work very well. We try to engage with people to get hold of what's the problem they're trying to solve? Are there experiences of, of early adversity, of loss, of things that couldn't be faced that aren't necessarily somebody's fault, but they're just the stuff that happens in life? Riggs treats people who sometimes earn this complicated label of treatment resistant. Of course, it's not the patients who are necessarily resistant to the treatment. It's the treatments that fall short. These are often people who meet formal diagnostic criteria for multiple disorders at the same time. In fact, when we did a, 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 a careful diagnostic study, published research about uh, diagnoses, we found that our average patient met criteria for six different psychiatric disorders. And we have a, 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 a treatment program that really focuses on when other treatment hasn't worked. It's a way of immersing yourself in a period of treatment that looks very carefully in complicated ways in what's made you the way you are. And it puts you in charge of seeing what kinds of things that are outside your awareness, maybe driving decisions that you're making, maybe repeatedly making bad decisions, or repeatedly making decisions that seem pretty good, but you pay a high price for them. We help people try to find better solutions than the one they started with. Riggs is an intermediate level of care. That means it's intermediate between a locked inpatient unit and outpatient treatment. What makes Riggs Riggs is the experience of immersion in an environment 24-7, where we're not only using two-person learning, you know, one-on-one -on -one therapy, we're also using the kind of learning that comes from being part of a group, part of a community, social learning. And if you're at Riggs, you're not only getting an intensive individual psychoanalytic or psychodynamic individual therapy. You're also involved in large and small group work and in the community. And that combination of individual learning and social learning is very powerful. And our treatment teams that uh, use a psychodynamic perspective to integrate the pieces are, are a very powerful kind of special sauce that allow us to really maximize the gain that a person can get from it. And it's a question of, of, of what somebody needs. And the people who come to Riggs, I think, are the folks who really have gained as much as they can from just in an individual psychotherapy. And where it really makes sense to add a complicated, comprehensive immersion experience in an environment that includes social learning as well as individual learning, that includes family work, that includes medications used in a way that pays attention to their meanings as well as to their pharmacological effects. And, and that really um, uh, allows the opportunity to think and make sense of what's going on in your life, what's got you stuck, and also paying careful attention to the voice and authority and agency of the patient. That the patient find their own voice and use it and that matter, and not simply be in the passive position of being a receptacle for the orders of clinicians. We've done some outcome studies at Riggs. We got evidence that about 70% of patients had good outcomes from treatment at Riggs, despite the fact that just about everyone really came here when other treatment hadn't worked, that they were struggling with treatment being a, uh, uh, something that was disappointing to them, that in spite of that, 70% had good outcomes. When other treatment hasn't worked, we may well have something to offer that's a different way of looking at things.